In this tutorial, we are asked to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. Now, if you look at this, the most important thing is that it is a circle and the circle has a center, right? So I'm going to draw my X and Y axis to locate the center of that axis. So what I am going to do first of all is that I'm going to take my meter rule or my T square right and i'm going to draw along the center line this way then i'll pick a point let's say this point here will locate the center of that point so this is my center and i'm going to take my set square and draw a perpendicular line that will pass through that point. So when the square is standing this way, we are good to go. This is what we have here. So I'm going to just do this. Now we've gotten the center of the circle here. And if we look closely, the radius, the diameter of the circle is given to be 90, so the radius is 45. I'm going to measure 45 on my meter rule from 0 to 45, this way, right? And I'm going to place it at the center here. You can see that? And I'm going to draw a circle in which I am going to tick in. Now this is the first thing I am doing here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join each of those points. First of all, I'm going to use a faint line, right? Let me take this up a little bit. So I'm going to use a faint line. So from here, I'll join this point with a faint line. Also to this point with a faint line. Also to this point with a faint line. Then from here also with a faint line. You can see that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that we're told that the band is six millimeter wide. So what I'm going to do is that at this axis here, I'll measure 6 millimeter. This is 0, this is 5, and this is 6 here. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing too. This is another 6 here. Right? So I can easily join them together using a front line also this way. I'll come here also, I'm going to do the same thing too, 6 millimeter wide. From here to here, this is millimeter wide. Come to this point also, I'll do the same thing to six millimeter wide. And I'll join them together. Now I'll do all this axis too. Six millimeter wide. This is zero here. This is five, this is six here. I'll come here also. I just measure this two this way. I use my I can use my 45 degrees set square instead of measuring everything one by one. Look at this now. I only have this point. I can just use my 45 degrees set square. How will I use it? I will stand my T square on this way. I can easily measure six here also and join my ruler. But another easy way to do it is after you measure six millimeter, you just come place your 45 degrees set square. On your T square, right, and you move it to this point. You can see that. Then I'll just join from here to here. Can you see that? I'll still come here also. I'm going to do the same thing too. Move it to that point. You can see that. I'll just join this way. And that is what we have here. That again. 
Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll use my 45 degrees as square. If you look at this, this axis here is also 45 degree because it's at the center of these two lines here, so 45 degree. So I'll just take my meter rule, my and then my t square minus 45 degrees as square. Once I place it this way, once I place it this way, let me come here. Once I place it this way. Right, I will just draw a center line also this way. Long, short, long, just like that. You can see that. I'll come here also. I'll bend it the other way around. I'll do the same thing too. So we have right so the way i joined all these points together i'm also going to join each of those points together to to this paint line first to this also this paint line to to this then this paint line to to this then this paint line to to this you can see that now the way I measure six, I'm going to measure six here also six millimeter. That is the band. So from here, five, six, right? With the help of my tool, my set square. Instead of me instead of measuring six here, I'll just use my t square to help me easily. I'll just join from here to here. You can see that? I'll come again. I'll do the same thing here too. I'll measure six. So this is six here. I'll move it to that point. I'll just join from here to here. Right. Then I can do it. That's horizontally also. Six. And also six. Then I'll just use the help of this. Starting perpendicular on my T square this way. Now move it to that point. Then I'll just join. Then I'll move this to this point also. Then I'll just join faint lines first of all. Now we want to start using our thick lines now. Now if you look at the diagram, this one coming from here is climbing, is toppling this one that is horizontal, right? The diagonal um, line is toppling the horizontal line. What I mean is this. This, right? Is going through this and stopping here. Then this from here is also going through this and stopping here. So when it stops here, you leave a space and you continue with this. Similarly, here also, when you stop here, you leave a space and you continue with this. That's what I meant there. So since it is Toppling this, it is going under this, and to now topple this also to this from here to topple this too. This way, then stop here, leave a space to continue. Then here also. Topple here, leave a space, then continue. You can see that now also to topple here, topple here, leave a space and continue. Come here also, do the same thing. Topple here, leave a space here and continue. You can see that. And I'll come here again to top we here. Top we here. Leave a space and continue. We come here also from here. 
to approve here leave this continue right so the rest now will now continue doing the rest from this point to this point right so this is just going through this and the stop here it continues and from here to here this will be going through this then it stops here then also here to here also yeah and the same thing here Do the same thing here too. And here also. And here also. That is what uh, we have here, right? So we should also do the dimensioning, in which we know that um, I can use the 45 degree here and make them understand that this point to this point. It's going to be 90. Right, then the band has to be band this wide. Well, the band six wide. Now we have successfully reproduced the figure. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.